right. I'm a sucker for children's books, Rob, and I love them. <laughs> I, you know what I love them? Because I remember when Alex, my son, was a little guy, and I would lay on the bed with him, and we would hold a book over our faces and just read that book over and over again. And you know what else we loved? Our dog. Mm-hmm. So if you have a children's book about a dog, oh my gosh, I, I am just going to be all over it. The book we're going to talk about is a beautifully written, beautifully illustrated book. It's uh, written by Andrea Vera Milley. Uh, I'm sorry, Yara Milley. I hope I said her name close. Anyway, she listen to this. She's an economist and a marketing professional and an amazing children's book author. So does that I tell know. you she's got both sides of her brain working? <laughs> yeah. The book is called Ralphie Always Loved. It is a children's story about a little puppy named Ralphie. He doesn't remain a little puppy. His whole life is in this book. And I'm wondering if it's not a real dog, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Andrea, Yara, Millie, uh, first of all, I hope I said your name right. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, Robin. Ooh, yes. where, where are you? I am in New Jersey. In Jersey. All right. How's the weather there today? You know, it's, it was pouring, but the sun has come out, so it's a good sign. Where's your accent from? Where are you from? I'm originally from India. Are you from India? The lady before yep. you was from India. <laughs> I know. It was hilarious. I was listening in. Oh, were you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, well, that's a coincidence, isn't it? Yeah, the best restaurant in town is always voted to be this Indian restaurant yes. across the street. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me about Ralphie. Is Ralphie a, uh, was Ralphie a real dog? I mean, your Ralphie dog? Ralphie was... Yes, he was my dog. He was a real dog, and he was an amazing dog. You tell this story in such a sweet way. Um, I'm guessing children have already fallen in love with the book and with the dog. Uh, I'm hoping they have, because um, he was very, very loved. Like the book says, he was loved, and he was always loved. Can I tell the audience that the ending is just amazing? The you the I, I I hate to tell the ending of a book, but this yeah. is a children's book, and I and I want I think the children will will I think you have done this in such a way that a parent can decide how how the book actually ends. You know what I mean? You, the, the, right. Does that is that what your intent was? It, you know, it it was in one way it was, and in one way it was me trying not to. Um, really focus on the fact that, you know, he was not going to be here. Yeah, but it makes you cry anyway, because you know. It makes me cry. (laughs) (laughs) But he lived with you for 16 years, and that means that your family had to do something right. (sighs) He he was amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, he just had this joy of life. He just had this um, amazing attitude. There was never a day when Ralphie wasn't happy. And you had found him at the animal shelter. We did. We did. We we were not going to look for another dog. We had one already, and um, we fell in love with him and took him home, and it was, you know, meant to be. He he was returned three times to the animal shelter before we got him, and he was a puppy. Oh, so really? It, it, yeah. Poor guy. Oh, my gosh. So, you you know what? You start off the book with the rainbow, and everybody knows the rainbow bridge, right? Mm-hmm. So, th- I love that because that's, <laughs> that's almost like telling us where they go to is where they come from. Yeah, it is. I, I think, you know, we have, um, everybody comes from a certain place of faith. And, um, you know, this is part of how we, I believe. And uh, I think that um, ever since, I saw him for the first time. He had these little markings that were so interesting to me, especially he ha- actually had a heart on his belly. Oh, yeah. And, yes. And it was, it, it, it was just such a curious little marking that he had that the story sprung to mind that that's probably what happened. And how did you manage to find the perfect illustrator for the book? Because she had to really feel your joy and pain at the same time when she was doing the illustrations? Um, I found uh, her through my editor, Mm -hmm. uh, Simone Kaplan, and she found um, Samantha and sent me a couple of um, illustrations. And just immediately, I, I knew that, you know, this is going to be a perfect match. On your on your Amazon page, you actually have a picture of Ralphie. Oh my gosh! There's there's an actual photograph of the dog. Look at that, right there. I know, isn't he something? <laughs> so when oh. did when did can I ask when did Ralphie die? 
Rafi died in 2016. Oh, okay. And, and yeah. were you writing children's books before this? I was always writing little stories about Ralphie. Really? But I was selling it to my kids and my friends' kids. Okay, okay. Um, but I, when Ralphie was getting close to passing, I just felt like such an amazing dog needs to live forever. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, uh, you know, I took his book. I took the thought of having a book and, and having Ralphie live forever in a book, which is ties up both one of you know my favorite things books and dogs so, <laughs> so how, do, how, how do the children react to the story and how do they react to the ending you know um i can tell you from my kids point of view they um look for um the signs the the clouds ah, we look at yeah, you know yeah, we look yeah. at clouds and we look at my kids have always looked at funny shaped clouds and say, oh, mom, look at that or whatever. Yeah, and now yeah. they say, oh, look, Ralphie painted, you know, <laughs> this. <laughs> uh, so it kind of makes it happy. <laughs> uh, you have something that you created called About Something Good. Yes, uh, it's, it's still a work in progress, but it is something that I truly believe in. Um, we all need something good right now every one of us and I think if we can all find a way to find the good in every single situation or every single person we come across and focus on that everything else falls into place that's a smart idea that's not, it's easier said than done but but I, th- I, th- I think there's you can't find you can't go wrong with the dog and you can't go wrong with the children's book so I think you you pretty much gave us something to to have that we can look to that's good Oh, thank you. <laughs> How did you manage to find your editor? Um, a friend of mine uh, many, many years ago had, was working with her. And I was always, you know, thinking about writing a book. And he said, oh, if you ever do, you know, you know give, let me know and I'll, I'll put you in touch with her. And then I, um, he did. And I met her at one of the uh, SCBWI conferences. And... Uh, she just is lovely, and we became friends, and um, she was never a dog person, and now she's a Ralphie person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also uh, included a yellow cap with the book. Yes. That's pretty fun. I love that, with the paw print with the tiny heart in there. Always love. Yes, yes. We have, we've, we've started, um, you know, we created this logo, which kind of represents something um, which all of us are, every single one of us is always loved because there is somebody in our life, whether it's our pet or our parent or our significant other, I always think our that. kids, yeah. they love us. It doesn't matter, you know, whether they're here, whether they're across the street, whether they're in a different country, That's right. I love whether they're not here with us anymore. And uh, we're ha- always love. And 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 having a dog is very very special to children because dogs aren't self-contained. I mean, they need to be hugged, they need to be given a bath and fed, they need to be taken out for walks, and that really teaches children to care for something genuinely. Yes, I agree. I agree, and especially uh, you know, it's it's like an unconditional love. It's yeah. not just it's just not love. It's it's. Love Andrew, that just transcends everything. Andrew, you're a beautiful spirit, a beautiful soul. Thank you for being on the air with us today. Uh, I found the book. It's called Ralphie Always Loved. I found it on Amazon, and uh, we're almost out of time. Do you have a website you can tell us about? Yes, andreayuramilly.com and aboutsomethinggood.com. Aboutsomethinggood.com. All right, excellent. Uh, Andrea, thank you for being on the show with us today, and good luck with everything. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day, both of you. Thank you. We will be right back. Reports that FBI Director Chris Wray threatened to quit over administration pressure to fire his deputy, Andrew McCabe. White House spokeswoman Sarah Sanders says President Trump has... A great deal of confidence in Director Wray. He put him there for a reason. She was on Fox and Friends. Vice President Mike Pence wrapping up his trip to Israel. The bond between us, uh, we believe, has never been stronger. At a meeting with Israel's president, Vice President Pence talking up U.S.-Israel relations after the U.S. recognized Jerusalem as Israel's capital. The Palestinian president called that a slap in the face. Fox's son- 